What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I stumbled upon this post, 30 days training for beginners on code forces, and I have to say, this is actually pretty crazy. Basically, this guy named 710 gave a list of 250 problems. I think, yeah, 250 problems to solve for beginners. Okay, and he basically listed them all and here and he had this community link and basically these f these problems focus on two parts which is solving these topics of math strings number theory binary search bit mask data structures games brute force greedy geometry two pointers constructive algorithms implementation combinatorics and they range from 800 to 1500 and basically what he's doing is that he's solving 10 problems a day I just have to say this is actually ridiculously crazy and basically what I'm doing I don't know if this actually works but I'm actually doing this, this sort of thing so I actually tried solving 10 problems a day and I actually did end up solving at least 100 for two days so I was instead of doing like uh, his list I've been doing la A2OJ ladders which is I think is where he actually got the the problems from so yeah I've pretty much the past few days past 10 days I've just just grilling grinding all these problems doing trying trying to do 10 problems a day and uh yeah i feel pretty accomplished i was able to actually do 100 problems in 10 days and uh this was the this is at at uh at 2 oj ladder the first ladder which is a uh, 100 problems of code forces rating less than 1300 so i was able i did finish all these things so i'm not sure if this actually works like i don't know if you could if doing 10 problems a day actually does help you but might as well try so he has he has this group you could you guys could like try to sign into his group um but yeah he has like well not this one he has like a he has this group where it's like a bunch of problems or he lists the problems per day so like uh, this group he has like 10 difficult difficult problems of uh 1300 1400 1500 and he does that that many times per day. Um, there was one thing that he was, he also had another group. Let me see, an easier group for pure beginners. And um, yeah, I don't know where that, that is. Oh, hold up. Uh, I think it was. Uh, so surprisingly, I did solve most of those because apparently those were the same, the same uh, group, the same problems as uh, at 2OJ actually. So I think he got most of them from at 2OJ. Uh, and let's see contests. No, not this one. So, so yeah, he has a group for the hard one, harder ones. So to try to break from, th uh, green to green to cyan. Oh yeah. So this is the one that where it's the beginner one, All right? So I did because, uh, some of the problems did overlap. I actually, I didn't solve these, right. But I, I so I did, I did all the at 2 j uh, 100 problems, right from at 2 in 10 days which is surprisingly pretty good um so i'm getting the hang of doing like these problems pretty quickly but yeah um the this is the group that he has uh it's if you if you want to search it up i'll put the link down below but he has this group where you're basically solving 10 problems every single day and you try to yeah if you try to solve 10 problems every single day if you uh, you give each problem at least 30 minutes. If you can't solve the problem, you look at the editorial and try to code it up yourself. But yeah, um, because of the, some some of the problems did overlap with at 2 oj uh, I did, it seems like I solved a lot. So it seems like day one, I solved all 10. Day two, I solved seven. Day three, I solved six. Day four, I solved five. Day five, I solved two. Day seven, I solved one. Day eight, I solved two. So yeah, um, apparently I think... I think you could so right now i'm currently gray because i'm not i'm not really good i'm just pure beginner but i haven't uh i, I did solve all these in 10 days so that, that was that felt pretty good to me um but yeah i'm gonna actually try this out actually so i'm actually gonna try solving all these problems and see if that actually does work so um but yeah for the past 10 days i was just grinding out at 2oj ladders to see if uh, see if this works. So I'm not sure. I don't know what my rating is right now because I didn't actually participate in the recent contest. So I don't know what my rating is or how well I could solve these problems, like the rating wise. But yeah, I did. I did solve most. I just solved most of these. Surprisingly, I solved most of these without looking at the editorial. Some of them I did. I have to agree. Some of them I did. But um, 
yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just doing at 2OJ ladders. I finished all the less than 1,300 ones. And um, yeah, and then um, I might do 1,300 to 1,400 these rankings to see if, if these would actually work. So yeah, I'm not sure if this actually works. Apparently I did solve most of these actually. Huh. That's strange. I think I think most of them are are previous contests, so that that's probably a reason why I solved most of them before. But yeah, I've I have a feeling if you do solve ten problems every single day, you're gonna improve. Okay. At least your speed speed wise. Even if they're easy problems, your your speed wise of implementing will will improve. So yeah, that's what I'm basically doing. Um, so yeah, these are the problems you could, I'll put a link in this description down below the post of 710's training. Um, apparently he did get to green and which is what I'm trying to go for. I'm trying to get to green, but, um, so yeah, let me see it. 710's history. Yeah. So he did get to green, which is surprising. Oh, but he was, he was wavering on green and gray. So maybe he was already green. I don't know. I don't know how many problems he solved. So, but yeah, this guy's good. This guy's, um. Well, this guy's a pupil, but so he's, he's, he's still, I think he's still pretty much beginner, but he did get to green. So that's something that I'm trying to achieve because right now my rating's pretty bad. My rating is abysmal. Yeah. If you want to see my rating, my rating is like, whoosh. I did, I dropped a lot, um, here in the, since the beginning of 2019, I did, and then I stopped caring about it when I, my ranking kept dropping, dropping. And then from here, I actually started practicing. So I did get a little bit better last few months and then I started dropping again. And then I got better and then I dropped again. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure what my rating is now after solving a hundred problems in the past 10 days. So I don't know if that improved me or not, but I'll, and I didn't go on the latest contest, so I'm not sure. But yeah, the next educational round is gonna come up and then I'm gonna try doing that. And yeah, oh, tomorrow is the at coder contest. So I might actually do that also. I don't know if, not sure if, uh, well, doing good on code forces does translate to at coder, but at coder is more mathematical. So maybe, maybe, maybe my ranking would improve on it at coder. I'm not sure though, I'm completely not sure. But yeah, um, that's what I've been doing most of the past few days. I'm sorry I couldn't upload at all, but yeah, um, maybe I should do a virtual contest. Not sure yet. But yeah, I am. Uh, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, let, let me know down in the comment section below what training program you guys are doing. I know there's another training where um, for absolutely completely beginners, like you've never coded before at all. And um, I think it's, is it this one? Is it this one? I don't know. No, it's not this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I can't find it. Uh, there's one where it's like there's an academy of training where it's like pure, pure, like new programmers who never programmed before. I think it's this one, newcomer group. Yeah, it's this one, this one. Um, Asuit University Training Newcomers. So if you never programmed before, you should definitely try this out. So this is, this is like a few 10 problems for just basic functions, arrays, strings, uh, geometry. Um, recursion, uh, some of these I'm not, I've never actually done before myself. So I don't know if, um, they might make, I know like data types is pretty easy. Like this, you could, this is just typing words into code, like, like print hello world, right? It's all these 26 problems you should be able to solve. Um, it's like completely new beginners. Um, yeah, but then they get like significantly more difficult. And then later on they get pretty difficult. Um, general easy. So it seems like I solved six of these. I don't know. I don't know if these are difficult or not. Not sure, actually. I don't know, but yeah, I'll put links down in the description down below, or I'll put it, put them, I'll put them in a comment on uh, these training pages to see if you guys would want to do it. And yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Let me know if what kind of training you guys are doing to try to improve your your competitive programming rating ranking. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.